yellow, half red on the right. Yeah. Where are you going? Into the mist. Into the fog. You done paddling, Yuli? I mean, we're not paddling. So. Because we're going that way, so if I stop paddling, you'll turn us that way a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to go through them. You mean between them? Oh, look at the ducks. No, I know, but look how close. Yeah, I zoomed in on them and everything. Everything is so misty. It's also really shallow. and mucky. Yeah. I'm just trying to get us to turn right. I know, that's why I'm helping though by doing that. Creating drag on the right and force. I got this reflection of the, the whole like mountainside in the water. Oop, the camera's lopsided though. Shoot. 
shoot us real quick. Just to make sure zoom is all the way out. So here we are. Ilya, say hi. Hello. We made it out early, nice and early in the morning, like 7.45 we got out. We were out on the water already. Um, and honestly, it's beautiful. The sun's just starting to come up and hit us a little bit, which is nice because we can definitely use some of the warmth. Um, it's pretty chilly. It's like 40. But it's really beautiful. And I don't know if you can really catch it in the... You can probably catch it in the camera a little bit. It's a little all the mist and fog on top of the water it's really great and the views obviously are amazing so we're gonna we're gonna keep paddling along and um, just explore the lake a little bit what's going on back there all right so we have a wildlife alert wildlife alert Yulia can you paddle we have a what seems to be an otter I think Maybe, I don't know, we can't tell, we're not close enough yet. But, I'm not even sure if I can see it in the camera. Oh yeah, or a beaver, it might even be a beaver, I think it is. Don't go too close, don't like ride on it. Oh, that was an otter. Yeah, that was an otter. Alright. Ooh, you can see the glare from the sun. It's hard to really see anything, honestly. I guess. Oh, man. Alright, let's keep paddling. I'll keep you guys on camera just in case it comes back, but I doubt it. They could hold their breath for like 30 minutes, so... Really? Yeah, so it's probably... Underwater now. Swimming away. Oh! Never mind. There it is. Let's see. Yeah, on camera you can't really tell. In person it's pretty cool. I mean, even in person all you really see is just a little head sticking out. But if we fought, if we paddle slow enough, Yulia, maybe we can, maybe it'll end up getting out of the water. We can see where it goes. Yulia, slow. I don't know, the way it like slapped the, oh yeah, beaver tail, that's what it was. It slapped the water with its tail. So actually if it's a beaver, I don't know if they can hold their breath that long. So hopefully the thing, yeah, so hopefully it just goes off to the shore now. Because, I mean, we kind of came across it by accident. I don't want to make it drown or something. This is a pretty big lake. Where we were going to is, we were actually trying to paddle over to, uh, sheesh, this thing's so out of level, makes the shot. We are going over to those leaves over there, we're going to take some nice pictures. The beaver just turned around, it was going... I think it's like trying to get around us, so honestly, we should just probably keep paddling and forget about it. Yeah. Leave it alone. Because like I said, I don't want to make it drown or get lost or something. And maybe it changed its course because there's people on the boat are coming by too, so... All right, Beaver, say goodbye. Say goodbye.
goodbye to the camera. Close up, that's it. So this is the spot we were trying to get to. It's, it's real pretty. A really nice color over here. Really good mix. All right, let's, we're gonna get a little closer to see what, so if there's anything on land that we can do. So low, the split ranch is so close to the water. All right, land ho. We're heading back to the. Uh, we're heading back to the camp today. We're gonna hit up snowy mountain trails today. Supposed to be a nice peak of a mountain. Um, I'm not, I'm not even sure how many miles the the trail is. To be honest, we have to. What? Maybe seven. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll find out before we go. I'm doing this old little uh, old-fashioned style of. Uh, Canoeing, kneeling. It's actually it's actually a little more comfortable than sitting because sometimes your butt just gets too. So that's the nice part about canoeing is you have the option. I like canoes a lot better than a kayak. This is, I think this is maybe the first time I've ever even been on one, but I have to say it's a lot better than kayaking. Kayaking, you. I'm sure there's really comfortable kayaks, but the one I have sitting on in my butt gets sore after like an hour and a half hour. And that, I mean, you can kind of stand on that one too, but you got to be real careful. This is really easy to stand, stand. This is easy to kneel. Then you can just go back to sitting. So, like, see? So it's nice, comfortable. We're actually going to get a, a canoe. I don't know if we're going to get a two-person canoe or maybe two one-persons, but... I did see on uh, Old Town... There is like a two-person canoe, I mean, yeah, two-person canoe that's like 14 feet long, which there's even one-person canoes that are 14 feet long, so it's a pretty decent size, it's not like huge, and you could probably use it as a one-person if you wanted to on your own anyway. And so that would be pretty ideal, because let's say I want to do a trip Yulia doesn't want to do or something, especially she's not too fond of going out on the water anyway, so. Right, Yulia? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, she said, yeah, it's fun, but... For a little bit. For a little bit, so... Let's say I wanted to get into trips where you're doing, like, portaging, or... Um, you know, you're gonna be sit you're gonna be sitting and paddling in canoe for two hours at a time, maybe. And then having to carry it over your head down, like, a... A mile trail or two-mile trail to get over to the next lake or, or site wherever it may be and, and um, yeah so we'll see when we when we get to that bridge we'll cross it right Yulia yep so Yeah, 
took off my life vest and put it on as my as my knee pad because the water there's like a lot of water inside the not a lot there's a puddle a little tiny bit amount that splashed by me by accident. I just didn't want to get my knees sandy and wet. More ducks. All right, so we're gonna I'm just gonna get back to paddling pretty heavy. See that mountain there? I'm not sure what it is. We're thinking maybe that is. I was thinking maybe that is Snowy Mountain. Um, so we'll see. If it is, that looks like it'll have a really nice view. We got some people out there fishing. So we're gonna just keep moving along, get back to the shore and uh, to our campsite and head out. Because if it is a seven mile hike, it's that's pretty it's gonna be a pretty long one. Alright, so here we are. We've parked. We're parked over there. Car's coming. What is with the focus? Jeez Louise. Car's over there. All right, we saw the car. All right, trail to Snowy Mountain Summit. 3,899 foot elevation, 3.4 mile in. So basically that means we're looking about a total of 6.8, right? Mm -hmm. 3.4, three and three is six. The guide said 7.0 something though. 7.8, I think. All right, well, we're gonna go in. Oh, I think I'm zoomed too much. Jeez. We're gonna go in and um, that's it. Let's get let's get this started, right, Yulia? Yeah. All right, Yulia started. is very excited. We're gonna just start right now. All right. Looks like we're gonna be going up. So, all right. You know the drill. If we see anything good or cool, we're gonna record it. Until then. We're gonna keep moving. So, off the footpath, found a little off trail path. And uh, basically led down to this. Really nice, a little mucky the trail down here, as you can see. But um, worth it, it's really pretty. And the soothing sound of the water is nice. At least it is in real life. On camera, it's, sometimes it's kind of annoying when you're trying to listen. Especially when somebody's talking and, and you really care about what the person says. But if you don't care about what I say, hey, listen to the water. Enjoy. Nice. All right, we're going to get back to the trail because, as you know, it is a long one. And we got in, it was just around 11. So right now it's probably around 11.30-ish. Amelia's up there looking at her ring as usual.
Okay, we have a wildlife alert. Wildlife alert. This is uh, probably the first in the wild. I mean, I've seen you know, I've seen these before, but pretty rare. I don't know exactly what kind of species it is, but here, have a look. Some sort of uh, toad or something. It's pretty decent size too. I mean, if I put it in my hand, it'd probably be take up like the palm palm of my hand. There's a uh, yeah. He's having a hard time getting up the leaves. There's a uh, there's water over down there, down this hill here. Here's the trail. As you can see, there's a foot trail, and uh, yeah, I mean, if we were predators, this guy would be done for because he's really, I mean, he can't really move much. But he does blend in very well with the leaves, so I'll let him just burrow in there. Hopefully, nobody steps on him by accident. Cool. Just checking in. As you can see, we're sweating. Well, I am. Yulia probably is too. It's getting really hot. This trail, um, the level is difficulty, according to <sighs> this PDF. The level is difficulty. Indeed. So, um, let me show you the other side. So this is what we're heading up right now. As you can see, from the little info, I guess we read up on the trail, the last, the final, I mean, look at this. I literally have to like, this is me fully extending my leg up and the step is even higher. So it's pretty hard. I mean, it's not an easy trail. It's nice because it's not too, too rocky. I mean, you have some spots that are, but anyway, so the info that we read on it said that the final summit is pretty steep and demanding and we've been going up that for I don't know how long now, maybe 15 minutes. So, I mean, there's some really steep spots and then there's this, where it's kind of just like a gradual incline. But, just wanted to check in. I think we're getting close. It's around, either you have a time max close to you. Healy's gonna check. 1244. 12.44 will. What it's and basically we'll see what time we're up at the summit. We'll, we'll, we'll start recording again and um, yeah, let you know how long it takes us. Okay, so we have some bad news for Yulia. I mean, me too, but whatever. It's I'm, I'm okay with it. It is what it is. Just gotta take it nice and easy. We just ran into some people who uh, left the summit on the way back down, and Yulia asked them how much further do we have, and they said they left the summit about 20 to 30 minutes ago. So that is, uh, and they said we still have to hit right before we get to the summit. Is a really steep part so I thought we were hitting it and we weren't that's when I was sweating but we cooled down now we were able to it's kind of leveling off a bit a little more gradual um, we actually ran into those people right around the bend where you saw me go up and uh, yeah so they gave us some bad news but they said it's great up there because there is a fire tower up there we read that on the PDF too on this info website and um, there's a fire tower up there with 360 views and they said it's nice and windy so you get up there we're gonna immediately cool down so yeah we sweat a little bit but it's gonna be all worth it and plus we're gonna have a nice lunch up there and uh, enjoy the views so Whoop. almost slipped Definitely getting all right. close. Look at that behind me, number one. So much boulder and rock. Healy's going up now. And then look in the front here. We already have some views. And then look down there. This is just, I mean, I don't want to throw a rock because there's people going down. So I'll just throw a little one just so you can get an idea of the decline. I mean, whatever, that looks too small so you couldn't even see it. Bottom line is, it's steep. 
and it's pretty slippery. A lot of water, a lot of rocks, a lot of moss. So, just wanted to show you. Yeah, this is 300, I mean 3,889 feet high. And that is Indian Lake. So, are you glad we made the summit? Very glad. It's yeah. not easy. It was definitely a hard hike. So this is the summit, we made it up. We're actually gonna go down and have lunch. We'll have lunch at that little plateau that we saw. That one, that has even a really good view actually of the of Indian Lake and everything too, so this is it. Okay, so we're, this is Indian Lake. We're gonna go have the lunch now. Uh, lunch now, and over there you can see a real quick view of uh, that's the high peaks in that direction somewhere. I don't know exactly which peaks. Maybe there, because that those do look higher than everywhere else. But when we looked on the, we have service here, so we look Google Maps, and um, yeah, so pretty crazy views. This is the fire, fire, fire tower. I did. Let me take it off the tripod. Yeah, the lake is really nice. Okay, we're going back down. It was a great, um, it was a pretty tough hike up, but we, at that plateau over there, I don't know if I showed the plateau actually, because we ended up kind of lying down and basking in the sun for a little bit, so that was, it was great. Much needed rest, it was nice, and now I'll show you what we're going down again, uh, actually we were here earlier, I showed you this part, um, but here's what we're going down, so. Gonna probably cut the recording now from now on until we get back to our car or maybe to the campsite. Just try and get down safely, and uh, that's it. So, I have some nice views. You can probably see through the trees a little. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get back, get down, get back to the campsite, maybe do another canoe trip out, and um, get gather some more firewood and and call it a day. So, so, all right, we will see you, I don't know, back at the campsite. Bye. We got wildlife alert. We have a little chipmunk. I'm gonna try and not move too much because he's he's really close to us. But oop, he just went. No, he didn't. He's right there. Hello. Oh, look at him looking right at us. Hello. That's me, by the way. In case you guys were wondering. Bye. <laughs> He's funny. He or she, whatever. Went up, it's going up that tree. Oh, all right. All right, at this point now you're not looking at anything, so. Okay. We're almost out of the trail, we think. I don't know, it's been quite a bit. So, okay. Okay, so we're at our new campsite. We, uh, 
see, you can probably see there's some water down in the background. That's actually Indian Lake. Um, and then right on the other side of the road, US Route 30 is uh, Louis Lake. Um, we decided to switch here because it's just a nicer campsite overall. Uh, and it was available. Plus, uh, this is waterfront, water view, you know. So, um, we already got the fire going, starting to get some soup and uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. So, we got the soup going in here. We're doing a lot better than yesterday in terms of scheduling. Uh, I got the fire going a lot quicker. And, um, and yesterday, actually, I used the lighter. Today, I used the uh, fire steel. Um, the, the difference in it that, that allowed me to be successful with the fire steel, and a lot quicker, might I add, is that um, today, while we were out on our hike, I collect a lot of uh, birch bark, which is very uh, capery, and basically, getting that going with the fire steel was su was super easy. As soon as and I had a bundle of it, as soon as I got that going, I put a bundle of some chopped st uh, sticks. Nice, nice kindling, nice and thin, right on top, and boom, that stuff went right up. And then we had a bunch of twigs that Yulia gathered, threw that on top, and more branches and everything. So I'm gonna keep feeding the fire, and uh, soon we'll be able to eat, and that's really it.